Hey, so I'm just gonna kind of quickly walk you through Pirates. Here we are on the main screen. If you're going to be creating a team, you'll need to go down to the bottom right here and click on Fleets. And then it says Create Your Fleet. And then you can give your fleet a name. And I'll just put, oh, Booty. Booty G. Okay. Um, one important thing to look at here is the very bottom. No approval required for new recruit. You want to uncheck that because you're going to invite people to your team. So create that. And then you have three spots and you can just go and invite people. They can either be people from your union or um, on your friends list. Uh, this is an alt account, so um, I don't have a union. But anyway, so um, it's created now. And then you go out here, and here's the main screen. And since I'm the captain, only the captains can open levels. So you're going to have to tap on them and then click Enter. And then you can go ahead and start playing. Um... Another thing to pay attention to is right now I'm on level one. To get to level two, I'm going to need to hit a certain amount of uh, legendary ships. So in order to find out how to unlock the next level, you click on that level, and then it'll say unlock requirements. And so to get to level two, I need to slay five legendary pirates, and I've already done one. So that's how to unlock. Another thing is down here in storage... You have chests, and these are your keys. I usually save my keys for the highest level that I can get to because you just have bigger ships and you'll get more points. And that's really about it. Another thing I want to point out, though, is that um, if you get to a ship that you can't take down, this is important, um... You know, this is a team event, so you want to work with your team and you want to you don't want to you want to try to abort as little as possible. Instead, you want to hit on this um little X here in the danger zone on the left side at the bottom. You hit on that and that will put the ship in the danger zone and then your teammates can actually go in and hit these ships for you. And so you won't lose any points by aborting because when you abort a ship, you lose all the you lose points for it. So you really don't want to abort. Um, you want to pay attention to the next level and how many ships you need to get. And once you hit that target, um, if your leader, if your captain isn't around to open the next level, you probably want to stop and hold on to your energy. Otherwise, you're just going to burn through energy on a level you've already passed. And so you want to save your energy for the next level as soon as you reach that milestone. So that's about all there is to it, and I hope that helps.